To get started, you'll need to log into your Google account and go to Google Drive at drive.google.com. Click that new button in the top left panel of your Drive homepage. And then there's a more option. And if you've never used Google Fusion Tables before, you won't see that in your application menu. So you'll actually have to go to the Connect More Apps option, search for Fusion Tables, and then add it to your menu list. So I've used Fusion Tables before, so I have it listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the first uh, menu you see is asking you where to pull in your information to create your Fusion Table. And for me, I already have it as a CSV file, but you can see that Fusion Tables accepts different file formats. But you can also import directly from a Google spreadsheet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the file from my desktop, that CSV file, and hit open. And then I'm not going to touch any of these things. I'm just going to hit next. And then here's where you can add some metadata to your table. You can add a name for your table. Um, you can add attribution information. You can also add a link to that source or add a description to your table. And then I also want to point out here in the middle of the menu this allow export option. And what this means is, is that when you make your Fusion Table public and others find your Fusion Table, they can actually download the data in your table as a CSV file if you allow that exporting option. Let's go ahead and hit finish. And now we're creating our table with that CSV file. Now, Note that if we just use this first table to build a map, each row of information would be represented by a place mark on the map like this. So the, each place mark will be located at the center of each country. But we don't want place marks on our map. We want to actually shade countries based on those consumption numbers. So we need to find boundary information. And to find that kind of information, whether it's countries, states, and so on, you need to find that data out on the web somewhere. The information is not built into a tool like Fusion Tables. So one trick is to actually go to Google Search and look for two file types. One's called a KML or an SHP. And these are geographic file types. Um, and that's how you can find boundaries. So for instance, we could do file type colon KML world boundaries, just as one type of file type search within Google. I'm going to hit Enter. And then, a, fortunately, a bunch of results pop up. And we can import these KMLs directly into a new Fusion table. So now what we need to do is we need to merge these two Fusion tables, the one with my consumption numbers and then this boundary data set. So to merge the two tables, we're going to go back to um, the table that I had uh, created that you saw me import. I want to grab the link. I'm going to go back to the rows here, the rows tab. I'm going to grab just the URL to this table. I'm just going to copy and paste that. And then I'm going to go back to my first table that I created and go to File. And then I'm going to go to Merge. And you can see here that I can choose to merge this with tables that I recently worked on. Or I can just copy and paste the URL to that um, second table, that boundary table I had, directly into that empty field there. And so I can hit Next. And then Fusion Tables is asking me um, you know, how to merge these two tables. So in each table that you merge, there needs to be at least one column in each of the tables with the exact same values. So in this case, in each of my tables, I have a list of country names. And that's going to let Fusion Tables know how to sort and match um, these two merges. So here I'm going to choose country name and hit Next. And then if you're working with a lot of data, this is an opportunity to kind of clean some of that up. So I'm going to leave all of them in that and hit Merge. And now we have a link to our new table. So let's click on that. OK, so now you can see here I have the table I originally created with the consumption numbers. And then I also have the information for the boundaries. So that when I click to my Map tab at the top, you can see here that now I have all the boundaries on the map. And you'll see empty um, country spots because we didn't have any numbers for those locations. Over here on the left, there's an option called Change Feature Styles. And I can click on that. And then you see a bunch of different options to start styling your map. 
But what we're working with is polygons. So we wanted to go to the polygon option and hit fill color and then go to gradient. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to apply a gradient to our, to our map. So hit this radial button here. And then it wants to know, you know which column of, of data do you want to apply that gradient to. So in this case, let's just use the latest numbers they have, the 2009 consumption numbers. And we can use this range that the fusion tables has detected for us. And it's going to default to these green colors. But you can see that there's a bunch of different options um, to get kind of just specific uh, color styles onto your map. And we're going to hit Save. And now it's automatically applied um, that gradient to those 2009 numbers. OK, so this looks like I'm done and ready to share. And so what we want to do is go up to Tools and hit the Publish option. So here you can see it's private. So we want to change this to either anyone with the link or to public on the web and hit Save. And I'm going to hit Done. And now when we go back up to Tools and to Publish, you'll see that um, warning signs away. Um, so now we can actually start sharing this, this map with others. So we can grab a link to the map. We can also grab an iframe to this map. So we can embed this map directly on your website. Here's one from the Vancouver Sun showing readers how their Vancouver neighborhood voted for last year's mayoral election and how those numbers compared to 2011. So you can see these, this map is defaulted to 2014 numbers. And then using this nice pull down right below the map, they switched it to 2011 